Hey, I'm Ashley and I'm an agent from Tiny House Listings and one thing we always tell our buyers before looking to go tiny is why not try a tiny house first, rent one out for a little bit, see what you think. And this is Spencer, the amazing host and owner of this tiny house and another one, but he's going to share a little bit more about that with you guys. So I'm going to pass it off to him and he's going to take you on a tour of the place. Aloha, my name is Spence Taggart and I'm excited to introduce you to what we call the North Shore Nook and here is one of our two tiny homes. We have an acre property surrounded by fruit trees and we created this whole place for people to come and experience life on the North Shore of Oahu in a tiny home. And so before you go buy one, come and check it out. Come stay for a week, stay for a month and see what you like, what you don't like about tiny home living. This place is incredible, so let's show you all about it. Okay, let's start with the outside. So the base, the trailer is a 26 foot trailer. Then you have on the top corners, two kind of lofts that hang over about a foot and a half. The trailer is about eight and a half feet wide. So it's a pretty small space and towing this trailer around the streets of Oahu is pretty intense. So you don't want to drive around in a tiny home like this. It's meant to be stable, but I could hook up a truck to it and tow it away right now. On the outside, we tried to make as much natural light as we could with huge windows because the view of the ocean, the view of the property is fantastic and it makes it feel more spacious. So as you're designing or building a tiny home, think natural light. It makes it feel more comfortable, cozy and spacious. The other thing that we love about the outside is the outside shower. It's a hot, cold shower. So when you come in from the beach, you can wash off your sandy feet. If you've been climbing and you're all muddy, you just wash off outside before you come in and get this place dirty. A few more features on the outside is this place is literally surrounded by fruit trees. You've got bananas, guavas, mangoes. We have a mango tree right back here that we put a nice swing in that you can go hang out, read a book in the, in the mango tree swing. Uh, we've got a porch area with a deck that you can have little barbecues and hang out outside, even lay out, get some sun. And so the space is really, really fun to come and visit. As you're designing your tiny home, make sure you put it in a space that's easily accessible. We had to consider parking. You know, where are you going to back in? Where are you going to pull out? Where are people going to park? Just so that it's always convenient and easy and very functional. So with such limited space, you want to be really strategic about how you plan things. What are absolute needs? And so let's come inside and we'll show you some of the features of our tiny home. So let's start right here in the kitchen. We wanted a full fridge, as big as we could fit, with storage above and below. The storage in the kitchen is plenty for a tiny home. You know, this is a lifestyle. You don't need hundreds of cabinets to fit all that Tupperware you never even use. We've got a stove, we've got a microwave, we've got your toaster, your coffee machine, plenty of cleaning supplies. The kitchen is quite functional. The only thing we don't have here is an oven. So you've got the kitchen here, we've got a nice little space for you to eat, and then the hangout space behind me, a little living nook. You can hang out on the couch, you can eat at the little coffee table, You've got a TV, everything's Wi-Fi, and so you don't need all the cables and cords and everything, but it's a great space to hang out with either four or two or even one of you. Perfect little space to hang out under this loft. So this tiny home has two sleeping lofts. Right now we have two twin beds up there that are quite comfortable, and it's, it's actually quite spacious to sleep up there. The other loft is behind us, and there's a there's a king size bed in that loft. This, this unit sleeps four people quite comfortably. For two couples, for one couple, for a parent with two little kids, it is a perfect place to get away. Now, one of the great positives about having all this natural light around you is the space and the light. However, you also want to consider privacy when you don't want people peering in and you know any of the neighbors or the roosters floating around watching you. We've got these blinds that are pretty minimalist and you just you know, you can pull them down and they're great for protection, lighting, coverage if you wanted to sleep in 
all the blinds in the house, you just pull them down and then boop, pull them right back up. Another thing that you really want to consider is when you're not using something, where the heck do you put it? And so one of the spaces that we've designed is like a luggage storage space under the stairs. In the bathroom, there's lots of little storage spaces behind the stairs there. Up in the nook up here, there's like a, above the kitchen storage, there's another kind of nice cabinet that you can store your stuff in. Because whether you're here for a week, a few nights, or for a few months, you have stuff that you just don't want sitting out, getting in the way all the time. So as you're designing your space, think about where could I store things that wouldn't necessarily get in the way. So welcome to the bathroom. Now this is critical because we all spend time in the bathroom. And so we've got functioning toilet, an incredible shower that is just plenty of space. We also have a little kind of tiled in nook to hold the soap and all your shampoo and everything in the shower. Behind the shower doors is where you would keep all the towels and everything for the shower. Uh, great, great sink area, cabinet space. We've got a full washer and dryer. These are really popular in Europe, and so it's in one. It takes a long time, but when it's functioning, it, it's a great little resource. So thanks so much for spending some time with us today. It has been such a fun journey for us to be a part of the tiny home community to have so many fun people come and stay and have adventures here at the North Shore Nook Oahu. Uh, the tiny home that we just showed you is what we call the sea glass cottage. My wife loves finding sea glass on the beach and so she named this one her favorite sea glass cottage. The one you see behind me is called the barefoot bungalow and it's a totally different tiny home. So if you really are considering a tiny home life, a tiny home cabin retreat space. Come and test out both of them. See what you like about the different layouts. It is an incredible lifestyle. There's something powerful. The Buddhist monks always say, everything you own, owns a part of you. And so the less you have, the more free you become to live the life of your dreams. This type of lifestyle allows for adventure. It allows for intentional living. And so if you're called to simplify, to have more purpose in your life, try out a tiny home.